this out. Hold on to it in case I might use it. No, I don't want to do that. So, how are you today? Um, it's really hot outside. Not outside, but it's really hot. But I'm sunny. But I don't actually think it will be warm if you go outside. Anyway, that was a random beginning. I'm just evening. I don't know how you call it, like, twirly? I'll just say twirling. Twirling round the balloon. I got this for my birthday. Which was last year. Oh my gosh, I've had this for years, I think. this for a year I think yeah I really like it though I remember that I saw it in the shop like two weeks before my birthday last year and oops and I ended up I asked for one and I ended up getting it like it was wrapped up and it was like stuck in like this in the box and I was it's so awesome anyway Ignore the background noise. Today we are going to be going back to Vienna. Do I just fix that thing up? <coughs> <coughs> so, we are going to read one page of this because um, I. We're going to read the, this read this whole page because it's quite a big book I don't think and it's already two minutes fast because I've spent all my time trying to run out the room anyway so starting we carried on from last time which was about two months ago probably Stant was the one lovely object in the room a relic from the relic dear Relic from the days of magic. It had belonged to the previous seamstress. She was Barney's own egg mother. And to stay in the soak. And Barney had spent many hours in front of it, whispering secrets to her own reflection. Then no other, there were no other children in the oak, so the white-haired girl in the mirror was the closest thing to a playmate she knew. She rose and stepped towards the glass, but even as she moved, the window caught her eye again. Between the branches of the great oak, glowed dazzling gems of the blue sky <coughs> and the leaves whispered promises of a breeze she laughed longing she longed I don't know what to feel a robin alighted on a nearby twig cooking its head at her cocking sorry and Barney felt a sudden urge to fly through the window and leap upon its back. Together they were such hearted. Together they would far, I don't know, far away from the oak to a place where she too could fly free. With a flick of its wings, the robin vanished vanished <sighs> another chance missed thought barney and frustration swelled like a wasp nest inside her it's not fair she just burst out why can't we go outside just because the group said it's not safe how does she know she never leaves the oak either Wink snapped the last pin out of her mouth, little shot, of course she didn't leave the yoke, 
is the one who kept us all alive. And it's the rest of us who have to tell magic. If it weren't for her protection, the oak could thicken and die. And all sorts of horrible creatures would come crawling. We decided to gobble us up. It all ruined in the beginning. I just wanted to... That took ages. That's why I don't really like reading these books, but... Oh well. Um... Before this ends, just wanted to let you know that... I don't know if you've seen it or Psych 2. Oh, I've watched it. I watched it yesterday. I'm quite scared of it. It was the first time I ever watched Psych 2. Or I have watched it before. I can't remember, but... It was a new, it was a new film to me that I watched on my TV. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I watched it. It seemed like a new film, so I carried on watching it. But I might have watched it. <coughs> Excuse me. I might have watched it when, like, years ago, but I just don't remember. But yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, but my TV is literally... I put the camera here, but I turn it slightly so that I can sort of bounce over TV. Good. I think I've been showing. There you go. You still have little glimpse of it. I'm sure you've seen little glimpses of it in the of it before in videos, but anyway, guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe like always, I will see you tomorrow.